Hi everyone. So I am in the town where my grandparents live. Well, my grandpa lives. Um, I'm in the park where I used to play as a young little drooling. Um, I just actually walked through the area where there used to be this huge tower. We called it the Witch's Tower. And unfortunately they broke it down, but it was right back in here. And it had a little door that was chained up. And we used to just joke about how there was the witch used to live in there and she did little ceremonies and everything. It was always so fun to, you know, talk about how it was creepy and shit like that. It was always so fun to try to climb it because like it was made out of brick and stone. And so we would try to climb it and we'd get like three feet off the ground and get scared and fall off it or, you know, something like that, like doing stupid shit that kids do. So, um, we come over here, they've really changed this park since I was a kid. There used to be like, let's see if I can show it to you. Back in here, there used to be like a lot of bushes and like places where there was a creek and you could walk over it on bridges and they totally revamped this park so none of that's there. Um, because the townspeople thought it was unsafe to have hidden places um, because unfortunately this town is really racist against Native Americans and there are a lot of Native Americans. Um, I'm not going to sit here because it's dark. Oh, I guess you can see me. Um, and um, they um, don't like the thoughts of people being able to be raped by Native Americans. So, my aunt is one of them, and um, so they don't have anything nice to say, and they call Native Americans drunks and shit like that. So, uh, they revamped the park, rebuilt it, and took away all the fun shit. So, um, sorry, I'm setting up my little doggy. Got this at Walmart for $5. Isn't that really cool? You can adjust the legs. You can like wrap it around shit. Like it, it stays tight. That's how I did my video yesterday. Well, the one I just posted, but um, I, I just posted it, but I'm gonna wait a while to post this one. All right, I'm gonna have to set the phone down um, while I fix this. There we go. Um, sorry, I should have had this prepared, but I did not. Um, today I thought I would just show you this park and talk more about times spent with my cousins here since I'm here with family. Oh, fuck my face. Sorry, that's something I say whenever I um, get excited or something bad happens. I tend to say it a lot, so I'm glad you got to witness that in the moment and me not just... Um, you know, trying to be funny, like that's, um, that actually just came out at a, at a casual way, you know, I, you know, fuck my face, you know, it wasn't like I was trying to hit on anybody, um, God, it is a lot colder than I thought it was, I did not bring my coat from the hotel, London fog, hope that, that was enjoyable for you, mom, um, but we used to play over here and they've even changed the playground. There used to be this, you know, those slides that were all metal. And so whenever you'd go down in the summertime, you'd just get like a huge ass burn on your legs. Um, there was one of those and it had a huge like cone at the top. So whenever you like first went down it, like you couldn't see anything. And then you'd go down and burn your ass and legs and you didn't care because you're away from the grown-ups for a second because you've been bugging them for hours to go to the fucking park and you'd be like, we want to go to the park. We don't want to watch grandma watch her stories, which my grandma was crazy about her fucking stories. I mean, she would put in her VHS to record them so she could watch them later, but she would watch them as she was recording them because she had to watch 
days of our lives, as the world turns, um, Young and the Restless, General Hospital. I mean, she watched them all, and she watched them religiously. And if she had to work at the um, at the laundromat, because my grandparents owned a laundromat, um, they would my grandpa would be sure to record them for her and as soon as she came home she would pop in that vhs and watch them and so actually this is kind of it's it's sad but it's it's very cathartic for my grandpa uh while we're here we're gonna go and throw away all of her vhs's that she's recorded um over her lifetime um of all the shows because she's kept them and um, she had, we, have, we have to throw away so many, um, she, they, one of their spare bedrooms is this room is where she kept all of her yarn and where she kept all of her VHSs. And it's like, you know, those, those things that you pull them out and it's, there's so many, oh, fuck, I my eye spasmed or something. Um, there's so many, there are so, 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 so many. And it's oh my god luckily that my they have a chairlift in the house so we can just stack them on the chairlift use the chairlift to take them down the stairs so we're not carrying them down steps so my my, uh, my grandpa where my grandparents lived had a uh, there's a, a two-story house so um after my grandma had a fall um she didn't fall down the stairs thank god uh but she had a fall and um uh, they decided to get her a, a chairlift, and um, so we they that and that was installed in the house. Um, it was very beneficial um, to to uh, get things up and down the stairs. Like when my parents would stay, um, they would like use that to hold the luggage upstairs and shit, because it's a, it's a very perilous stair staircase like when we would play on it as kids like we'd get in trouble and stuff like that like stop playing on the stairs just go up or down um but you know your kids you don't listen we would like get toys toy um stuffed animals and slide them down the banister um stuff like that um get toys throw them down the steps and whoever whoop i'm not in the shot um, whoever's toy made it down first one, stuff like that. Um, you had to do whatever you could to entertain yourself. Uh, generally, if we were doing stuff like that, we would get kicked down to the basement where we would play games. Um, if it was just me and my cousin Jenny, um, we would play Barbies and make the Barbies have sex. Cause that's what you do when you're, you know, like eight or nine or 10 years old, because you want to have Barbies do adult things and you know, that's what Barbies do. That's what adults do. They have sex. And now that I am an adult, I know that's very true, at least as a gay man. I'm gonna start walking around now some more cause I'm getting cold. Uh, I'll try to hold this as still as possible. But um, it's, um, oh, there's fucking kids that way. Can you hear them screaming? Ugh, I don't hate kids. I, I, I like kids I'm related to, and I like kids who behave, but, um, like, there's a school right here, and um, I can never be a teacher. To so anybody who follows me who is a teacher, God fucking bless. I couldn't do it. I would, I would shoot myself in the face, take my body, cut it up into bits, and spread it all over the playground so they'd have to find it and be, like, horrified for life. Because there's, there's no way in hell I could do it. Um, I have friends who are teachers. And they're like, I love it. I'm like, do you do drugs? Do you drink a lot? Are, is the school paying you to say that? I, I must know because it's... I don't know. I... I Oh, oh, they got to go back in. Did you hear the bell? Yeah. Oh, and they are running. No running on the playgrounds. Yeah, they stopped running. <laughs> oh, except for that kid. Yeah, get that ball. 
I'm such an asshole. I don't care. They're not my kids. Um, oh, God, it is cold. My mom made me wash my warmer jacket because I spilled vape juice all over it um, in the pockets because my tank has been leaking. And um, I was like, and I forgot to bring my gloves that I crocheted. Oh, I forgot to bring a scarf because my mom made me take my scarves away from where I store my scarves because she doesn't like me having anything where she can see it. Oh, Ooh, here's some ice. I want to play on it. You guys want to see me bite it? Oh, it looks perilous. Well, let's see. Do you guys want to see it? Looks like somebody's walked on it. Let's see how solid it is. Feels pretty solid. All right. Let me see if I can walk across it. All right. We're going. We're going. I am wearing tennis shoes. Holy shit. I'm walking on ice. Walk it. Oh shit, my foot just slipped. Nope, this is not gonna happen. Last thing I wanna do is break my vape and my phone, all in the name of just being silly because I do not live where it's this cold. It would have made for uh, a good video though. Oh, well, back to hanging out with my cousins. Uh, we all used to be really close. Even though um, we lived uh, in Oklahoma, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, the ones that we were, I was in closest age to were my cousin uh, Tony, my cousin Paige, which it's her birthday today. She's, uh, her birthday is one day before mine and she's was born one year after me. So she and I are the same age for one day every year. Um, I used to make a bigger deal out of it when we were younger because I thought it was funny. Um, since we're not close anymore, um, I don't, I really don't because I don't think she cares. <laughs> um, but, uh, um, and then their older sister, Jesse, is the same age as my uh, sister, Rachel, um, and they are four days apart in age. And uh, my dad and my uncle, Rick, uh, Tony Page and Jesse's father, um, my mom's, uh, se uh, second brother, um, had a bet to see who would be born first, Jesse or Rachel. Um, and of course, Rachel was born first and the bet was, um, whoever w was born first, the other had to buy them a case of beer. And my dad said, Rick never bought him the case of beer. <laughs> so... <laughs> Even though my dad doesn't drink anymore, he's still pissed that Rick never, never paid up. So, I'm gonna sit in here. Oh, there's lots of, you see that? Tear apart my childhood park because of racism and they won't take care of the sidewalks. I know they get 13 inches of snow in one snowstorm, but come on. All right, Let's, I'm gonna sit over on this side. Ugh. Ugh. So, um, oh, let's move it down a little bit. I, um, I was, okay, back to being in the basement. Sorry. Uh, we would play games and turn off the lights and play hide and seek. My parents or grandparents actually had a fairly large basement. And um, it was um, really fun. Like, we would, we would act really crazy. And, like, the rest of my cousins, like, we were close in age two. But I'm just saying we were closest to Paige, Tony, and um, Jessica. Jessie. We called her Jessie then. She likes to go by Jessica now. So I, I've been trying to get to where I call her Jessica, even though 
I'm used to calling her Jessie. Um, but we had other cousins uh, that we were close to. Um, um, and we just got to play games in the basement once we started being really annoying. And, um, yeah, it was, it was good. Um, like I said in the video, uh, when we were driving up yesterday, uh, me and my siblings, we were kind of the outsiders having, um, lived in Oklahoma. We weren't up here all the time, except for maybe a week every summer. Um, and that was, you know, about it. Like some, we had, um, my uncle Rick's family, which was Paige, Tony and Jesse, they came and visited us in Oklahoma maybe twice. So, um, uh, when we were kids and, um, that was fun. But for the most part, the only time that we ever saw my mom's side of the family was when we came up here and it was, it was okay. You know, it was just, like I, like I said, we just weren't really close with this side of the family. And so it always feels weird whenever we come up here. Like I feel like a stranger to people I'm related to. It hasn't been until recent years, maybe the last five or six years that we've come up multiple times in the year. And that's just been because my parents have been retired. Um, and it's only been me who's come up because I've been the loser son who lives at home and most often haven't, hasn't been working or has been required to take time off from work because my parents wouldn't trust me to stay at home alone and not use drugs. Um, so, you know, I got to see my grandma more and that, so I was very fortunate. Um, but that doesn't mean my cousins were here. Most of my cousins have moved to elsewhere in South Dakota. Um, they still live in South Dakota within a couple hours driving distance. But um, I have one cousin who moved to Nebraska. She lives in New York, so that's a lie. But um, most everybody lives within three hours of here in winter. And um, little want to know a little story about why this town is called Winter, W-I-N-N-E-R. Uh, there were two towns that were going to get the railroad stop. And it was like, it wasn't a competition. It was, I, I don't think they had to do certain stuff to get the stop. It was just, um, I, at, least, I, at least I don't think so. I might be recalling the story wrong. But basically, one was going to get the stop and both couldn't. And this town got the stop. They won it. So they renamed the town Winner. W-I-N-N-E-R. This town has about a population of maybe 1,700. Um, and the football team, when my cousin Jordan, I'm flipping this up. Oh, God, it's cold. Um, um, what's funny is it wasn't this cold when I was out vaping in my um, shorts after I woke up this morning. Ooh, come on. Um, but anyways, my cousin Jordan, um, he's the youngest Turgeon grandson. And he, when he was on the football team here in the winter, um, they won the state football championship, I think two years or maybe three years that he was in high school. The state football championship. Um, I know it doesn't say much for South Dakota because it's, the population is like, <laughs> less than the population of St. Louis. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's um, still, it's, it's, it was a big deal, especially for winter being such a small town. So uh, it's, it was really cool for them. And uh, he unfortunately didn't get a college scholarship for playing football like he had hoped, but um, he's going to college in Vermillion and loves it. And he's gonna be doing uh, Something with, um, oh God, what is it? Forest, forestry or something like that. So he, he's going to be doing something really cool and he loves it. So I'm really happy for him. A lot of my cousins went to um, South Dakota University or it's South Dakota State University or South Dakota University or University of South Dakota. I forget what they call it but it's in Vermilion, uh, which is close to uh, Sioux Falls. 
So um, I'm I'm really proud of him. He's he's done really well by himself. Um, it's my aunt Nancy's son, and uh, he's or she's the one who's the uh, the racist one against Indians. Even though we have Native American blood in us, and a lot of us are on the tribe docket um, for for the Rosebud tribe. That's that's about an hour and a half away from here. I'm still waiting to get my card. I applied and have not heard back. So that either means they said no or they're really backed up. So uh, my mom is, my grandpa is, a lot of my cousins are, um, my, a lot of my aunts and uncles are. So um, they lowered the percentage that you have to be to, uh, to get a tribe card. So um, I need to call and check up on that. So, um, but yeah. We technically are, uh, I forget our percentage. My grandpa is, I think he's half. He's half or, he's close to half. Which puts me at, he's one, uh, no. I can't remember what his percentage is. He's, he's a fair amount, which puts me at a decent amount. To, to be able to, to put it to, because I think it was my great grandmother that was full. So that would, I mean, he's a quarter, which I think that would put me at 136 or 172nd. I think that still counts me. I don't remember. Anyway, um, but yeah, I used to spend my summers here in this town and we'd go fishing, we'd go down to the Missouri River where there's a dam and we'd go swim. And there, the Missouri River is safe to swim in and you can fish and eat the fish. Where the Missouri River is down in St. Louis, where I lived, you do not get in that Missouri River. That Missouri River is toxic. You do not swim in it. You don't eat the fish that you catch in it. Um, unless you wanna die from poisoning or like people fish in it, but they do it for sport. Like they want to hang those fish up on the wall. They want to be like, look at this big ass fish that I couldn't eat. You know, um, oh, I, um, but there's, um, a lot of history around here. Um, Lewis and Clark came up, they, you know, Lewis and Clark came up the, the Missouri River. So where I lived in St. Louis, where I, where we moved to once we moved there, uh, was in, was near St. Charles, uh, Missouri, which is where Lewis and Clark started from, um, right about 45 minutes from here is where Lewis and Clark had a stop and, um, they camped. And there is a statue that someone made of a Native American woman. And I forget what it's called. It's beautiful. I will post a link in this video of the um, woman uh, to the, uh, to post a link to um, an, like an article or something about the statue so you can see what it looks like. It's beautiful. But the artist uh, took uh, photos of a young Native American a average age Native American woman and an old Native American woman and morph them together to make this face. And it's a woman standing kind of like this. And um, it's got, be like, in, uh, she, like and she's holding a blanket around her and it's got beautiful blue um, squares in it and there's holes and so air can get through so it doesn't get like blown over in a windstorm. Um, and it's just, it's gorgeous. It's, I don't know how tall it is. It's gotta be at least a hundred, 150 feet tall, at least a hundred. Um, and uh, it's, it's gorgeous, but it's, it's right there where that stop was and in there is a rest stop and it's got replicas of the boats and you can climb in the boats and everything. It's really cool. Um, <coughs> excuse me. 
Um, and what, what the hell is the name of that town that's right there? But it's got an outlook right over the river and there's like a little sea curve in the river. And so you're up on this little bluff and you can see over the river. It's really pretty, but they do fireworks. Um, somewhere near there at, at, at the 4th of July, and it's really pretty, apparently. Um, and we were here for the 4th of July one year, and my dad didn't want to drive there to go watch, and my aunt really did. And I was so pissed, because my dad is kind of a fuddy-duddy. And he just, I don't want to drive 45 minutes, that's for some goddamn fireworks. So... Instead, we went to Burke, which is, um, or Gregory, Burke or Gregory. It's, those are two towns that are about 20 minutes away. Um, and stood in a mosquito-infested field and got bit up by mosquitoes and watched Average Fireworks. And it was, it was really fun. <laughs> Let me tell you what. Got about 15 mosquito bites, stood on a dirt mound, vaping, oh. But anyways, I digress. Um, it's warmed up a little bit. Did the sun come out? Wish I brought my sunglasses. All right, time to change locations again. I'm gonna get out in the sun. No, the sun has not come out. I don't know what I thought I saw. Um, okay, gonna be, whoa, gonna be safe. There's nowhere else to sit. I guess I'm gonna go back over to the, I'm just gonna walk across this grass. I'm not gonna walk all the way around. I'm gonna play on the swing set. That's what I'm gonna do. You guys wanna watch me play like a little kid? Whoa! Stepped on some snow and it sounded like it cracked. That would have been freaky had that happened on that place with the ice. Foot fall through into some ice water. Whew. I admit it probably would have been funny. Okay, this looks muddy. I regret my decisions, which has been the mantra for my entire life. Well, sorry, not my entire life. When I was a kid, no, probably even when I was a kid. I, when I was a kid, I wasn't a bad kid. I lied a lot. And that, didn't change into adulthood. That's the thing working in the program, I'm really working on living an honest life, which kind of sucks, but you know, you got to do what's best by others. Um, all right, those are the good seats, those are hard seats, which those are low. Ugh, everything's made for kids on this playground. Ugh, that's wet, that's wet. All right. I'll try to talk really loud so you can hear me. Let's see if you can see me. No. All right. All right. Ugh. Ugh. So, I, um, oh, that's squeaking really loud. I don't think I'm gonna be doing this very long. Oh, those kids have to go in now too. Oh, yeah, this is not gonna last very long. Ow, yeah, ugh. That sounded good in theory. Ugh. It's too low. That's not, that's like, or that, 
swing set was not built for a six, four foot tall man. Let me try this one. It's got a hard seat. Oh yeah, this one's good. This one's good. All right. I won't do this long because I, I, I imagine this isn't very fun for you. It's fun for me, but oh my God, so. I mean, I know I'm, t I'm like bashing this park for how it is now because when I was a kid, like it used to have the places where Indians could rape or where drunk Indians could rape women and it's, and it had the streams, but like this park has so much more in it now. And it's a lot more kid friendly without that ass burning slide. There's places where you can have like picnics and shit, but like, I don't know. When things from your childhood get torn down, it's just really sad. There's teeter-totters and they never had those, but I have no one to teeter-totter with. All right, the bell fucking rings. Those kids did not go inside. Those are some bad fucking children. Do you see why I hate kids? I'm never having kids. I've said it a bajillion times. I say it's because I don't want to pay for someone's therapy or be responsible for it. But I think it's actually, well, one, I don't think I would be a good parent, but it's actually that I'm selfish. And two, I don't like kids related to me. So I think if they were adopted, I would, it would just instantly be like a, you know, like a, you're not of my loin. Am I even in the shot? I can't tell, it's so far away. Oh, I am. I just, I don't, I don't think I'm meant to be a parent. I'm a good uncle, because I get kids for like a short amount of time, but then they go home. And, and that's when I'm happy. Like, to those of you who are parents, props to you, because you have the gumption that I do not. All right. I'm gonna jump and I hopefully I won't knock my phone over. Oh, all right. All right. Oh, I'm going sideways. Can't do it. All right. Oh. Sorry, I mean no offense to any parents. I am not saying you're stupid for having kids. I'm saying I would be stupid to have kids because I don't like kids. So, to everybody who is a parent, God love you. To everybody who is a teacher, God love you. Oh, because I know how I was as a kid, and I'm surprised I didn't get beaten to death. I only got spanked one time, and I, I, I couldn't believe it. I'm gonna go back under here. I was just like, I mean, I, I deserved it. I deserved to get spanked a bajillion more times than I did. I just got grounded a thousand times. I got grounded more times than I, I can even... Oh, that's great. More times than I can even count. And sometimes I got grounded for stupid shit. 
Like I was supposed to wash the dishes before mom got home during summer break and I didn't. And I got grounded for that. Like for like only one day, but still. You know. Damn. I've been working out for a week and I'm out of breath from doing the fucking swing. Oh, I need to do more cardio, but cardio sucks. Oh, I'll have to tell my sponsor I did some cardio today. What'd you do, run a mile? No, I did a swing for about five minutes. Oh, There's some monkey bars over there. Could do that. Some upper body. It's probably too short and they'd just be on the ground. Huh. You guys wanna see me do the monkey bars? I'm gonna do it. I can lift my feet up. Oh, they actually look pretty high. Nope, nope, now that I get closer. Now that I get, no, wait. Nope, nope, nope. My feet would be touching. Let's see. 